into your November Astro Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Let's see. Having a great reset for that new moon is really resetting um, pretty much everyone. So let's see what's going on with you. Best message coming out. And for those of you who are new, this is where we take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. So let's get in here and see what's going on. Best message coming out. Going straight into the 12th house. Wow. Let's get some Aries energy. Oops, I think that's to be here. Sorry. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it. And going to Pluto. Transformation. Well, we are in that Scorpion season. And what a season it is. Okay, so let's get in here. Let's see. Happy Pluto, your ability to transform, take a big leap forward, and rebirth. Had a few songs tied this as well with some Aries energy. The energy around you is dynamic, spontaneous, crusading, impulsive action is likely to occur. And going straight into that 12th house. This area of your life is, that is what is overwhelming you. You yield to a greater cause of power. And that doesn't surprise me because everyone so far has had something overwhelming. And I'm telling you it's because of that new moon landing on the 1st doing this great reset, okay, it's it's crazy, okay, so, wacky wonderful, we do have the new moon on the first, we have the full moon in Taurus coming in with Uranus on the 15th, and also that will be the time, around the time when Mercury retrograde starts turning, um, and then it'll land and be steady on the 25th through the 15th of December, okay, so, Yes, very interesting month ahead. So, you guys are seeing some turbulence in certain houses, like, oh my gosh, what's going on? It's not you, it's everyone. I haven't done a sign yet that has not had this, so. <laughs> I got to the point where I was like, what is going on with my cards? Do I need to go and uh, wash them? But then I started watching other tarot readers. They're having the same issues and love readings. So I was like, oh is the season for the great re universal reset got it it was what it's telling you is you didn't want to let it go i'm going to let it go for you i'm going to make things break for you i'm going to make things die for you <clears throat> as we reset and grow so feeling very exhausted at this time actually yeah i guess that is it feeling very exhausted you could feel very burned out right now just you know it's it's fall you know, a lot of us, we just turned our, our clocks back. You know, it's like 5 p.m. feels like 8 p.m. You know, it's like everything's, you know, turning around. Tis the season. But it does look like tis the season you're exhausted of this fighting, this litigation, this argument, this standing your ground where these egos are clashing. Whatever is overwhelming you in the 12th house. Okay. Now it says you yield to the greater cause of power. I love that, though, for the Nine of Cups. You're arguing about something you want. You're arguing about something that you want that's greater, that's better. So, like, for instance, here's a good example. You want to move out of maybe one city to go to a different city. You know, I want a bigger house. I want this and that. And you could say that your spouse or whoever is saying, no, we're not moving. I'm comfortable where I am. We don't need that. And I feel like that's what it is. You're arguing about something that you want, Nine of Cups, for your wish to come true. I want that. And they're saying no. And they're in total disagreement with you. And it's exhausting you. Because it feels like you're not getting anywhere. Could it be arguing with the boss over a pay raise? Or more days at work? 
please let me work a Saturday. Please let me have, you know, 10 cent raise. I mean, just give me 10 cents. It doesn't even have to be a quarter. Just give me five cents, 10 cents. Give me something. And they're like, no. So it's a disagreement. It's a debate. You might just be tired of debating. Shoot, for some of you, it might even be tired of debating through this debate of this political stuff we're going through. You're just wishing that it would stop. Maybe you have family members that are just driving you crazy because of politics. You know, I mean, it could be just anything. Um, but it is definitely going to be something that's very overwhelming, no matter what, that's enough to cause a, a big upset. Loss of friendship because of a fight. When all you wanted to do was compromise. You just wanted this commitment. You have this commitment is, is dying. You feel like you have the loss of friendship, love, take it how it is, partnership. It could be a friendship at work. It could be love, family, however it is over this dispute. You were having the hope, you know, the hopes of solving this problem, you know, and that's where your nine of cups comes from. They're to the point now where we can't even get along because of my Nine of Cups, whether the Nine of Cups was whatever it was that you wanted. Maybe for some of you, you even got what you wanted and you're arguing about bringing it home. <laughs> However it is, take it how it is, but now you feel like you're not getting your Ten of Cups. Definitely broken <clears throat> communication. The contract of, of this friendship, this love, however it is, is on the wrong path. It's overwhelming. There's definitely a separation. Could be dealing with an Aries. Ooh, there's the tower. But that tower is Uranus. That Uranus is coming in anyways. <clears throat> so the King of Pentacles over here says that you... Oh. You're trying to stay as strong as possible. staying within your authority but now you have this this sudden change here comes that disaster that chaos having the revelation that this is all out of control there's carelessness they're out of control it could be at the workplace it could all be at work however it is wherever it is but definitely seeing the arrogance coming out and you're having this sudden awareness of how out of control this really is During this conversation, you're realizing the tower on top of the tower. Wow! That's a big chaos. That's a big fight. That's the awareness of big fight. I mean, this is literally saying this is a catastrophe. Having a conversation with them about maybe money, work, whatever it is, and you're trying to keep your as poised as possible, but it's causing nothing but disaster, chaos, but you're having this sudden awareness. There is that transformation coming in, that sudden awareness that this opportunity is lost, that this opportunity is, is dying out, that this opportunity is no longer criticism. They're criticizing everything you're saying. They're criticizing, you know, your point of views, whatever you're doing. They're criticizing your nine of cups. They're criticizing what you love. There's just a lot of criticism. A lot of arrogance. And this is really breaking the balance within the situation. You're trying to keep yourself, you know, as, you know, um, crusading as possible. But it just feels like the dynamics that is coming in through this is so overwhelming. Wow. 
this is literal turbulence, an earthquake. This is bringing everything down to rebuild. The end of the month, you do have the world in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, and the six of pentacles. There's that generosity, though, that you're still trying your hardest. You're still trying to, you know, share your wealth. You're still trying to balance out a situation. You just cannot. Now they're withdrawn. There's, a, you know, there's this ignorance going on to this situation where they're just not listening to you. They are completely disconnected. They are definitely hiding out. They have maybe ghosted you. Okay, where you're still trying to fix the situation, but you might feel like they're completely 100% disconnected from their intuition. And it's almost to the point where it's like they don't even know what they're talking about. Like, you don't even know what you're talking about. Um, to the point where there is no closure here. It is incomplete. And they have just completely shut down, walking away, very upset about the situation. This is completely broken. Looking for the happiness. You were trying to find the happiness. You're trying to keep your your courage and your boldness to the situation. But the problems are, this is definitely 100% for a lot of you, a lover's quarrel. But however it is, it is saying that I no longer, um, no, I, I don't think this is going to work, even though I'm trying my hardest to maybe fix this situation. And if it's not you trying to fix it, it's them who's trying to fix it. It's one wants to fix it and one does not. Um, because it has become... Uh, an obstacle. There's a lot of hypocrisy going on within this situation. A lot of undermining situations going on. Uh, you have the king of spades in reverse. So there's a lot of nasty, how dare you talk to me like that um, scenario. Or um, so it's either you or them once talking, you know, they could be talking very bad to you. Um, you know, you're like, how dare you talk to me like that? Why do I, okay, so it might not be you who wants to I think you were trying to fix this. And then when you're trying, that's what it is. It's like you're trying, you might be trying to fix this. And then words are said. And it's kind of like, how dare you talk to me like that? I was trying to fix this situation. I don't know why you want to do that, right? Um, or it could be them saying some stuff. And then you coming back as the king of spades in reverse saying, you know, why would you want to fix it? You know what I mean? How dare you be you know, call the kettle black type scenario. How dare you, um, you know, use, say things like that and then come back to me and try to offer me roses. You see what I'm saying? Something like that is going on. Um, so take it how it is, because that's literally what it is. But it's, for a lot of you, it is definitely a lover's quarrel type of scenario. Just, you know, put it the way it goes for you guys. But, oh, absolutely. Yeah the breaking and departure and definitely the tower over here is like you knew it couldn't last very much longer <clears throat> the you know universe came in and said that's enough of this i'm ending this you guys as your contract is over for a lot of you or this needs to be fixed immediately you know what i'm saying something is going on uh, no matter what that's the universe stepping in it's major arcanas so but it does look like there's a lot of departures, a lot of breakups, and a lot of, I'm not dealing with that anymore. For the, Going for your Ace of Cups and going straight into your, your mind, straight into the Four of Swords, finding that peace, finding that place for yourself, finding your wholeness. Keeping yourself emotionally poised, keeping yourself, you know, in your intuition of what needs to go on, having the better understanding or the Wheel of Fortune coming in, and that's going to come in towards that such uh, December area. <coughs> Excuse me. During December. So it does look like during December, it's gonna you're going to have this major turnaround for what it is you truly love and how you're going to deal with things. And everybody's dealing with something is going to be a little bit different, but it does feel like you're going to feel like you've got your Ace of Cups. Okay. So it does feel like you're, you're finding yourself. It's almost kind of like finding myself again within this situation. Okay. Feeling like I, I've got what I need. For some of you, it might even be finding new love. You've got the king of cups to the to the queen of cups. So you might even have new love coming in. Okay. With that 
Ace of Cups as well. So you might be departing and then somewhere into Sagittarius season, you're going to find this new love. Okay, who's going to come in and it's going to feel like a blessing uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, it does feel more like love over here. Um, for sure. Okay, so let's get an animal card. I do see new love on the horizon. So. Cat, be relaxed and independent. So just, you know, stay chill, you know. As chill as you can be. You know, it's good. You know, it's, it's like this is what's going on. Ladybird. Accept happiness and good fortune. Well, you got the good fortune coming in. So it's almost like everything's coming down the way it's supposed to be coming down. It's falling in the way it's supposed to be falling. Um, this could even be that you were committed to a happiness that you could feel like they could not commit to. Your overall, you know, happiness. That could be also it as well. It might not be a thing. It might just be my emotions, my happiness. You cannot commit to my happiness. You always want to fight with me. So there's also that. I did see that. Especially when I seen the new coming in with the Ace of Cups. Because then it started making me think, you know, this could be, why are you always, you know, dogging on me or arguing with me or, you know, never want to be on the same page as me or something of this nature. But it does look like for a lot of you, you do have this beautiful new love coming in with the uh, Queen of Hearts to the King of Hearts. A very, you know, pretty solid, um, heartfelt communication, which is kind of crazy because it feels like that's what you, a lot of you might be looking for. And maybe that's what the arguments are. You never want to be on my side. You're always on this side. Or you're always, you know, um, arguing with me. You don't like it when I do anything. Um, you know, it's like any time and every time you have a, a reason to want to argue with me, it feels like you can make it happen. <laughs> right? Like they got the magic wand to make arguments just appear, right? Um, they're their own magician. <clears throat> it's like you have the magic touch to make a fight. Um, so, I mean, this one right here is like pretty much the universe saying this is universally done. Contract is over uh, for you to move on. Okay. So that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.